Hello, my name is Ryan and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today I'm going to do something unique. I'm restoring a pair of my own shoes. Uh, these are my Crockett and Jones. I've had these for a long time and they just need a general refresh, a whole once over. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this shoe looks a lot better than the one in the thumbnail. And it's true. Um, after this, I'm going to be stripping the shoe and that's what I'm going to be posting in the thumbnail. It technically is clickbait. It's how you get views, but this is how it looks currently. I'll strip it. I'll take the thumbnail photo and then I'll completely refinish it. Please don't hate on this. I'm just trying to make a video people will click on. So please enjoy this restoration project. Step one, we're going to clean the shoes. I mean, you can use any cleaner you like. I know that I'll be hitting these with acetone to strip off all the finish and all the wax. So what I'll be doing is cl I'll clean the soles with a degreaser. And this is going to help kind of uh, bring these soles back to life a little bit. And I'll clean the welt with this degreaser also, making sure that I absolutely condition the welt uh, when I'm done with this project. But I'll clean this up. And we'll get on to the next step. Also, if you're interested in seeing what this is like in real time and not sped up like this, I'll have another video on my channel entitled ASMR Rocket and Jones Restoration. And just a side caveat, do not do the steps I'm doing here with Shell Cordovan. What I'm showing you is only for standard calf skin leather. I had polished these shoes about a year ago, so there still is a lot of polish on the toes. So I'm going to have to use a nail polish remover to get all of this off and to get off the shoe cream. I put kind of a brown shoe cream on it last time, and I want to want to bring back some of the mahogany color that the shoe originally had. So I'm going to go at this with some nail polish remover. Off camera, I soak this rag in some denatured alcohol and water, and I'm just trying to soak the shoe now, especially where the wrinkles are. This is going to help uh, get down into the leather. I'll also put a little bit of nail polish remover on there just to help strip out any finish that is down in there in the crack. Sometimes that alone helps make the shoe look better because it gets into the cracks and kind of cleans it out. So again, I'll soak that and I'll put the shoe trees in it. And another thing about these shoe trees that's so important, what you'll notice is the, the vamp of the shoe tree is solid. It's not split like an adjustable shoe tree, right? It's a solid shoe tree. Only use this type if you're going to use the iron. If you put a split type of shoe tree in there, you will see a huge seam run up the, the, the shoe. And also, I'm playing with shoelaces there. Keep the shoelaces tied. This is what's going to help stretch it out, and it's going to be more effective. So tie at least the top like I've done there. This rag is just soaked with water. That's it. And I'm going to steam and iron these shoes out. One of the great things about the Alan Edmonds Enthusiast the Facebook group is that they'll give you lots of ideas. So one guy suggested that I try to suntan these. So that's exactly what I did. I suntanned these shoes after I ironed them for two days and it really worked nicely. 
Here are the shoes after they sat for a couple of days sun tanning and drying out. They look great. The wrinkles are almost virtually gone. So I'm just going to hit them with the horsehair brush, clean them up, then put some conditioner on them, clean them up, and then we're off to the shoe cream. After I wait a couple hours, I'll buff the shoe conditioner off. Now we're starting to get to the fun part where we bring some color back into the shoes. And I'm starting with the dark brown. And I'll do a layer of dark brown, buff it with the horsehair brush. Then I'll come back with a layer of burgundy to kind of do a mixture here to get these right where I want them. And of course, once I apply the cream, I'll wait about five to 10 minutes, brush them, and then apply another layer. Now I'm going to polish the toes on these shoes, and I have to say, this is not my strong suit. Really, if you're looking for someone to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to get a mirror shine on your shoes, do not look to me. For this, really go to Preston Soto at the Elegant Oxford. He is awesome. I do something really kind of lazy and quick. Basically, I just put a bunch of wax on them, layer after layer after layer. Kind of buff them in there as you see, and just keep on putting layer upon layer. Uh, I do this for about five minutes, and then let that dry for a little bit. Then I'll put a little bit of water on the toe, which I believe melts the wax into the shoe. 
and I start buffing with that black microfiber as you see here. Um, what I'll do is I'll do this a couple of times really quickly just to get some of the shine out of there. I'll let it sit for an hour or two and I'll come back and add a couple more layers. I think that helps really get the shine out. It's, a, it's an easy way. The whole thing of actual uh, time with the shoe, not including waiting time, only takes me about 10 minutes. And I feel like it's a, an effective a shoe shine for what I want. Here I am, I've let it sit for a little bit. I went to a different spot in the house to get a little bit better lighting, hoping that the shine would shine greater with the sunlight and it would make me look like I did a better job, but that didn't really work. Um, but I'll just put another coat on there. I'll use a little bit of water, as you see in the top of the screen, to melt the wax down and just buff with that black microfiber. I'm really happy with how this turned out. To be honest with you, with these shoes, they're a really nice pair of shoes, but I got them, used them, got a big gash in the leather, and then that just kind of took this, the wind out of my sails for keeping up with these shoes, so I've kind of beaten them up and let them go too far without really putting some time into them. But I was able to get all the creases out. I feel like it looks pretty good. It's definitely really presentable and the shoe should last a lot longer. And here I'm going to take the shoe trees out. I know everyone wonders after you iron them and you I've sunbathed them, suntanned them, what do they look like when you take the shoe trees out? And they're so pretty good. Now, of course, once I start wearing them, uh, some of those creases will come back. But again, you've got all the product there. So you just wear them and then you buff them when you get home and they'll continue to look uh, just like this. I think that is the key with ironing the shoes, is, is you can keep bringing them back. Here is the shot from before and then after. So thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Just use the comment section down below. It may take me a little bit because I'm still new to YouTube and how this all works, but I'll try to get back to you. And have a good one.